So in this tutorial I'm going to talk about interface and layout customization in Modo. One of the great things about Modo is that it's really fast and fluid um, to manipulate and uh, customize your interface. You can essentially do it on the fly while you're working. Um, so the first thing I want to show you is uh, really basic, just um, viewport maximizing and restoring. So if you have your mouse cursor over any viewport and you press the zero key on the numeric number pad, you can maximize that viewport within its viewport group. So sometimes it'll go full screen, sometimes it won't. It depends where, how the interface of that particular layout is built. Um, but here I've maximized the uh, preview um, viewport and as you can see it's really nice um, I can just click on a if I open my shader tree and just click anywhere in the uh, in the preview and I can edit that material so if I decide to click on him and take the wood material off and the other thing about the preview is obviously you can navigate it so in this case it behaves a little bit like a real-time um, sort of GPU style renderer just going to revert the file to carry on um, it's just one of the uh, files in the standard content and I'm going to restore the um, the viewport back to its normal layout by pressing the zero key on the numeric number pad again um, and we'll come back to the numeric pad because it's got a lot of useful shortcuts in it but uh, to start with it was just to show you how to restore and maximize um, but just to show you another benefit of this, say you're in the quad layout, if you maximize this view, you are basically in a layout that's essentially exactly the same as the single model layout. But any time you can hit the zero key and you'll you know quickly return to a um, quad layout and then when you go, want to go back to the one big window, just hit zero again. So as you can see, it's really versatile and quick way of working. So how do you go about customizing your layout in Modo on the fly? Well, I'm going to go to the big single uh, modeling tab to show you. The first way, what I call the slow way, involves this little orange dot which is the top left of the uh, viewport. So if you right click on that, you see it brings up a menu. So let's try the first command which is duplicate and as you can see that's split the viewport into two with a copy of it. Uh, let's try the second command, which is copy. Now what that's going to do is it's going to float a window ab above the main viewports. Um, the third one is similar but different, and that's detach. So that's going to float a window as well, but as you can see, it's also got rid of the original. So that removes it from the original viewports and floats it. And then finally, if I just duplicate again, um, the one below that is delete, um, which will obviously delete your viewports. and then. Below that there's split horizontal, split vertical and split quad and we'll talk about those in a minute because uh, we can also access these um, rather than using this orange dot we can access them through a pie menu which is called the slash and burn pie menu so you access that by holding down control and tilde so tilde is the key at the top left of your keyboard just below the escape key so that brings up this little pie menu and you've got split vertical, split horizontal and remove and when you're working and want to do things quickly on the fly, this pie menu is the way to go because it's much quicker. So let's do a split horizontal and say, decide I want to um, have a different view here. Well, you could go to the little arrow here in the uh, top right and basically here you could choose any kind of um, viewport in Modo. It doesn't have to be a modeling viewport. You could have um, a data list. You could have a shader tree here if you wanted, for instance. Uh, you could have a properties panel. There really is no limit, but in this case, I think we're going to go for a. Um, just remove it quickly. Start again. I'm going to go for a um, camera view, and if I split it again, split vertical this time, and I'm going to use the slash and burn pie menu to change it to a preview window. And now I could just do a bit of modeling or whatever I want, and then when I'm done with this, I just remove, remove. Another thing you can do is to use the layout menu. Um, first thing I'm going to show you with this is if you go to layout, windows, new window, this will bring up a completely blank viewport which you can turn again into anything you like. So you might decide you want a 3D model view or maybe you want a uh, render preview, a data list, anything you like. You can have this hovering over the interface, you can put it to one side and then when you finish with it you can kill it. The next thing you should know about in the layout menu is the palettes menu, so the palette submenu rather. So with this you can bring up a blank palette, 
turn it into anything you like, um, which is similar to the blank window, but um, you can toggle it on and off, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So there's a whole bunch of predefined palettes, and they're really useful. So uh, you might want to bring up the uh, material editor. I don't know if you've ever seen that before, but that's a pretty cool little thing. Or um, you might need to bring up a uh, command history. That's one that I bring up quite a lot, or a schematic view, anything you like. And the great thing about um, palettes is if you look in the layout menu, you see this toggle palette thing. Well, there's a shortcut for that, which is the apostrophe key. And uh, if you hit that, it will basically toggle the palette on and off, which is um, really great because you might want to have it open for a while. And then when you're working, hide it and then show it again, you know, for whatever reason. And then when you close it, it's gone forever. As well as the palettes, you can use the F keys to bring up a bunch of uh, predefined viewports. So F2 will bring up your modeling tools. So say for instance you want to have this viewport maximized, so you've got a really nice big view. And then if you want to bring your um, modeling tools into view, rather than minimizing the viewport again, you can just hit F2 to uh, toggle your modeling tools on. F2 toggles it back off. Um, and if you do the same in the paint layout, I do this one a lot, so you've got a huge uh, nice paint layout, and you hit F3, that brings up your sculpt and paint tools, and you can even access your color from here, whatever you want, and then F3 again to uh, toggle it off. So F4 brings up your animation tools, F5 brings up your command history, F6 brings up your presets, I use this one all the time, F7 brings up your graph editor, and F8 is another really useful one, that brings up your preview render. So these are really, really useful and quick for um, you know working on the fly. There are also uh, an, a number of other Pi menus that you have access to. So if you remember, we use the tilde key to bring up the, um, the slash and burn Pi menu. Well, on the tilde key, there's uh, two more Pi menus you can bring up. And the first one is on shift tilde. And that brings up, um, you can bring up a modeling toolbar, sculpt and paint toolbar. This is similar to what's on the F keys. Um, animate tools, tool properties. So this is handy if you need to access, say, say you're in a maximized viewport and you've got the, uh, you know, say you've got the airbrush activated, for instance, and uh, you've hidden that out of the way, and you want to change the color, you could just bring up the tool properties and uh, do your color change from there, and then carry on painting. Let's just drop the tool, bring that back. Um, you've also got item properties, display properties, curves, and snaps, um, and you've also got the out tilde, which uh, brings up another bunch of palettes, so you've got the item list that you can call up at any time, you can call up a shader tree at any time, this is all out tilde, channel links, channels, uh, graph editor, you could float another 3D viewport or float another camera viewport, um, really useful stuff. And then of course there's some uh, much better known Pi menus, um, on control 1 you bring up your toggle Pi menu, so you can toggle your lights on and off, your cameras, wireframe, vertices, etc. Control 2 brings up your uh, shading mode, so you can quickly go into reflection mode and then back to advanced GL. Uh, control 3 brings up popovers, now popovers are different to uh, palettes, and I'm just going to demonstrate, if I bring up the uh, sculpt and paint palette, if I um, you know, make my selection and move the mouse away, the palette basically stays there until I dismiss it. But if I bring up the Sculpt and Paint popover, so that's on the Control 3 menu, that is different because if I select an airbrush tool and then when I move my mouse away, it will get rid of the popover. So it depends how you prefer to work. And the color popover is pretty useful because that's the kind of thing that you just want to make a selection and then um, get rid of. So you have your info stats, tools, item lists, sculpt paint, vertex maps, color, shader tree, and graph editor all available in popover form. And then um, control spacebar will bring up your views menu and out or option spacebar brings up uh, basically the top of your modeling toolbar. And then finally the last um, Pi menu I want to talk about is control tab which brings up a bunch of uh, pretty useful modeling operations. Um, you also have um, a bunch of visibility options that are available to you. One way of accessing them is if you go to where it says your shading mode and you right click um, visibility option and there's all sorts of options here. Um, another way of getting to exactly the same thing is to hit the O key on the keyboard and there there's two tabs where you can control the visibility of all sorts of different things. So you might uh, want locators to be visible. Um, 
Let's see texture locators to be visible and you can see the texture locators have appeared in my viewport but if they bother you when you're modeling you can just hide them um, if you're modeling you might want vertices to be visible or if you find them distracting you can get rid of them so there's a there's a whole load of um, things you can turn on and off in, in these menus and, and again it's really useful to do this on the fly most of the time you know just do it as you're working because you might want certain things displayed at certain times and not not at others and finally I want to return to the numeric keypad which is what we started this uh, tutorial with because it's got a few more very useful shortcuts I mentioned earlier that the control spacebar brings up your views menu so you can use this to go to the top view and then perspective view change views really quickly but it's even quicker um, for certain views if you use the shortcuts on the numeric keypad so if you hit one it takes you to your top view two will take you to your front view and three to your right view and if you want to go back to perspective view you hit the full stop key now the next set of numbers will take you to different shading modes so at the moment we're in advanced GL but if I hit four it puts it into shaded five will put it into texture six into um, reflection mode seven into wireframe eight in solid and nine into vertex map uh, sadly the uh, advanced GL mode is not there so you have to use the control two spy, uh, pi menu pardon me, to, uh, to access that um, and just to finish off um, I'm just going to quickly rebuild my workspace just to demonstrate how quick it is to do this in Modo so at the moment we've got this big single modeling viewport and I'm just going to turn it very quickly into a kind of rendering environment so if I bring up my slash and burn pi menu and I'm going to split vertical and I'm going to go down to the bottom viewport and split that horizontally and then I'm just going to drag the, this way and hit the little arrow and go to data list and turn that into a shader tree and then I'm going to go back up to this viewport to split that back into two and I'm going to use the slash and burn pi menu to turn this view into a preview window so you can see in literally in seconds I have basically completely customized my workspace and I can do some shading if I want um, and if I want to go back to my to my single uh, modeling view it's really simple I'll just uh, remove the preview and remove this viewport remove the shader tree I created and I'm exactly back to where I was okay I hope you've uh, found this helpful and thank you very much for watching